In the last few weeks, Amazon had the Amazon Echo Show 8 on sale for £59 sterling, which is about €70. Euro. Um, and regardless of how you feel about the Echo Shows, um, there are some pros and cons to them. They are quite pricey normally. €59 Euro or £59 sterling, €70, Euro, is pretty good price for an Echo Show 8. So I decided to upgrade. I had an old Amazon Echo Show, one of the first generation, um, and it's a bit clunky looking. The screen's fine, but it's, it's, it just, it's kind of ugly. Um, so I decided I'd upgrade because I have an Echo Show 5 in my bedroom. So I decided to change the Echo Show old version that I had in my living room to a new Echo Show 8. Um, and I, I often get asked questions from people about um, photo frames. And I don't have a lot of photos around my apartment, but I do have things that display photos. So with that in mind, I wanted to talk very, very briefly on how you can use an Echo Show as a photo frame, um, rather than having to buy separate photo frames, because at that price, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and have uh, a photo frame, with a digital photo frame with all your photos and an Echo Show device. So that seems to make sense. So with that in mind, keep watching and we'll show you how to do this very, very quickly. So as mentioned, I bought myself a new Amazon Echo Show 8. It's an upgrade of the original Echo Show. In terms of features and functionality, it's pretty much the same. It's got about an eight inch screen, um, but unlike the original version of the Echo Show where there was the kind of speaker underneath and it looked like this big monolith black block, um, this one is a little bit nicer designed. The speaker is kind of the whole back part of the device um, and it's a much prettier device. It's very, very similar to the Echo Show 5, um, which I have in my bedroom next to my bed. Um, it's, it's a nice looking device. Again, you know, people often say the Echo shows are overpriced but a 59 pounds sterling I couldn't really say no I couldn't resist since I wanted to put another echo device in my living room anyway so one of the good things about these devices and one of the things that I quite like is that you can actually use them as a photo frame or a digital photo album and what a lot of people don't know is that Amazon once you have an Amazon account actually give every single customer five gigabytes of free photo storage that's regardless of whether you're prime or not in fact if you're a prime customer it's unlimited photo storage but every single person who uses Amazon if you sign up for an Amazon account you get five gigabytes of photo storage and you can actually set it so that these echoes the ones with the displays can display the photos that you have stored in the cloud so there's a few ways you can do this first and foremost you can change the actual wallpaper on the echo show devices through the Amazon Alexa app so you can go into the app um, you can find the device that you want to edit so in this case it would be the echo show 8 um, and you can change the wallpaper and what this does is you upload a photo to the app, this then sends it to the cloud and the Echo Show 8 or whatever Echo Show device will pull this back down and make it the wallpaper. What you can do though is you can actually create a folder on Amazon Photos online, store a whole load of photos in there and actually let the Echo rotate through these photos. And I think a lot of people miss that there is this free photo storage. So there's actually three ways you can do this. You can either log on, you can go to Amazon Photos, so whether you're .co.uk or .com, you can sign into your Amazon account under the Amazon photos and you can see the photos, you can store them into folders, um, you can upload new photos, etc. You can actually download an application for your PC as well and essentially this does the same thing. It just connects to the cloud, kind of similar to the Dropbox app. Um, and what you can do then is you can set it to sync folders from your PC up to the cloud. So what I have actually done is I have a folder on my PC called Echo and any photos that I put in there are synchronized to my Amazon photo account in the cloud and that's the folder that's displayed on my Echo shows. Um, so you can do that for your PC and finally you can also install the Android app. So if you have an Android device you can search in the Google Play Store for the uh, Amazon photos application and you have two options again either you can manually upload the photos that you want to the correct folder or you can set it to automatically upload any new photos that you take. So you could have it set that if you take new photos these will automatically be uploaded and then these can be displayed.
So a couple of things to note. So the first and foremost thing is these are all stored on the cloud. So if you are hesitant or skeptical about storing things on the cloud, just be aware that these photos will be stored there. Um, this shouldn't be a big issue for most people who are watching this channel because if you have an Amazon account and you have the Amazon Echo service, um, you're using cloud services anyway. Um, the second thing is on the Echo Show itself, you need to go into the settings. So you pull down from the top, um, hit the little cog icon, and this gives you the Echo Show settings settings um, and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the wallpaper and display option um, and under wallpaper then you have a few different options it can either pull a photo from the Amazon Alexa app or the one that I've chosen is Amazon photos so if I click on Amazon or tap on Amazon photos here I can then choose which folders or it has an option for memories from this day in the past which folder on the online account, on the Amazon Photos account that it's gonna display. And these will just rotate then. So I'm just gonna select um, the photos here or the Echo folder as I have it set up online. And any photos, you'll see there's about 90 odd or 91 photos in this folder. Any photos that are in this folder are now gonna be rotated on my display. Now, if you have an Echo Show, you'll know that this is interspersed with news updates and whatever else. You can try and turn off a lot of the additional options and news displays and whatever else. Um, I've left them on because some of them I do find useful, um, but essentially your photos will rotate in the background. The other thing you can do now though is now that these photos are saved on the cloud, you can actually ask the Echo just to show your photos. So if you wanted to just say you've guests over and you just wanna display photos, you can say, Alexa, um, show my photos. And she will then just display all the photos that you have stored in your Amazon Photos cloud storage account. So you can leave this running and it'll just keep cycling through them, rotate through them every few seconds. Um, and you can leave this as a photo frame and then to stop it, you can just ask her to go home and she'll go back to the normal display where each of these photos becomes a wallpaper, but it also shows you the day, the time and the news updates and whatever else. So it's a cool little feature. It's very, very simple to set up. Um, I'd say most people using the Echo Show probably just have the standard wallpapers and the news things that are coming up, but you can actually use these devices as a photo frame, which is quite cool, both in the, uh, ambiently, so in the background, or you can have it, you can ask it to actually just display those photos until you ask it to stop again. Just be aware that if you give the Echo Show another command, like play music um, or whatever else, once that's finished, if you ask it to stop, it'll go back to the home. So it won't go back to displaying um, as a photo frame. The photos will always display as the wallpapers, but there is a distinction between them as the wallpapers because they'll have the overlays of the news and the time versus just showing the photo, which you have to ask for. Um, but this is pretty cool and I like this because this way I have my Amazon Echoes in my room uh, and my living room here um, just constantly displaying my own personal photos and then on the PC because I have a specific folder that this pulls from and that the app on my Windows PC syncs to. If I want to change these photos very very quickly I can just add or remove photos into this folder or I can do it on the app on my phone. I can add and remove photos into this Echo folder. Um, and this is the folder that my Amazon Echo Show has set up to display and to cycle through. So it's a really, really handy little feature. Um, and to be honest, at 59 pounds sterling, this is probably a better option than going off and getting a, 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 you know, a dedicated photo frame when you have all the Amazon Echo functions built in. Now, unless you specifically want to wall mount a, um, a frame or a digital picture frame or whatever else, then in which case, you know, by all means go off and, and get one. Um, and, and set it up the way it is. But for me, this is a better option because it's sitting on a nice like coffee table you know, next to the sofa um, and looks really, really cool when people come in. So look, it's a very, very simple thing to do. It's a useful feature and function and it kind of makes the Echo Shows a little bit more personal, um, a little bit more kind of customized to who you are um, and, and just takes away from it just constantly displaying random backgrounds, wallpapers um, and the news and whatever else is on. So, you know, it's a nice way of just kind of making them a little bit more part of the fixture of your home or your apartment or or whatever else. Um, so look, I, I have a link to the Echo Show 8 in, in the comments below. The price has gone back up to 119 pounds sterling, which to be honest is pretty steep. Um, 
considering you know they are just glorified tablets in fairness the sound quality on the echo 8 is a lot better than the first generation echo um, but it's still quite a lot to pay for a device like this um, having said that when they're on sale and they do go on sale very frequently so keep an eye out when they're on sale they're worth snapping up if you want to get something with a nice big eight inch screen um, you know and, and have something that can play music show you video clips amazon prime whatever else but the big thing to remember is that you don't have to be amazon prime to avail of this every single person gets a five gigabyte um amazon photo storage just by virtue of having an amazon account so even if you've just bought something from amazon or you've set up the amazon echo um, with your gmail account or whatever else you have this storage to use you just need to log into amazon photos either .co uk or com or whichever amazon you're using um, and you can administer them and work through them there um, so look if there's any questions on this or anything that i haven't made clear please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below um, but this is a really nice simple function that i've used um, and since i bought the new device I, I just thought i'd share this with everyone here um, as ever you can follow me on the social media so the facebook instagram and twitter at andy smart life and i'd really appreciate if you gave me an all like and subscribe um, and a thumbs up to this video because the more people who give it a thumbs up the more people will potentially see these videos um, and will encourage me to keep making more of them which I, which I do enjoy um, and as ever if you have a question about anything else that I haven't discussed today or anything else I've discussed in previous videos please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below um, and with that in mind I'll see you next time bye bye